Hey guys, it's Laura here. Okay, the other day I showed you how to make your own raw almond milk with almonds that you soak, right? And you saw that was pretty easy and it was really, really tasty. Well, today I'm going to show you an even easier way than that, if there could possibly be, to make your own raw almond milk. It's called the cheater's way, but it's not really cheating. It's still delicious and it's so good for you. So this is how you do it. Ready? Go. So here's two cups of water, okay? Then you take raw almond butter, just raw almond butter that you can buy from the store, from, this is from Trader Joe's, you can buy from the health food store, put in two tablespoons of raw almond butter, just like that, okay, could it be any simpler? You can actually do this in such a pinch, if you have, always have raw almond butter in your fridge in case you have to make some almond milk on the fly like that, okay? So just put that in there, oops, got grab towel, sorry. Okay, and then a little pinch of salt if you want it. You don't have to add it. Just, just like one turn of the Himalayan pink salt. And then two um, scoops of stevia if you want a little sweeter. I usually measure like one scoop of stevia per cup, whether I'm having tea or, you know, whatever it is. Like usually one will, will sweeten it good. That's it. Okay? Could it be any simpler? Put it in your blender or your Vitamix and just take it for a spin. So, I let that go for about 30 seconds. That was it. And there you have it. Raw almond milk. It's so good. You don't have to do any, you don't have to do any straining or any draining. Just do that. Taste it. You'll be amazed at how good this is. Look at that. It's a little bit creamier, a little bit thicker than uh, when you strain it. It's a little bit creamier. So, it's so good. You can play around with the ratios too if you want to do make it a little thinner, you could add a little more water. If you want a little less sweet, you can add a little less sweetener to it. Just play around with it. You can also add um, honey to it if you want a little bit of honey instead of the stevia. So give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.